Welcome back everyone. Today we are meeting for ICC 10th Maths Equation of a Straight Line video number 5. In our previous video we did the sums from Emil Agarwal till question number 22. Today we are going to start from question number 23. So let's get started. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita Classes. Question number 23. In ABC, A35, B78 and C1, minus 10, find the equation of the median through A. So let us draw a rough diagram. This is a very important sum. This sum has come in 2013 board paper. So A is 3, 5, B is 7, 8 and C is 1, minus 10. They are saying find the equation of the median through A. So if you draw a median through A, you know median means it will bisect the other side. Suppose D is the median through A and the coordinates of D is X, Y. Okay. You have to find out the equation of AD. So we all know if AD is the median, it will be bisecting the other side. That means your BD is equal to DC. Or in other words, we can say D is the midpoint of BC. So first of all, we will get the coordinate of D by the midpoint formula. After that, when we get two points, then we can get the equation of the line by two points form. Okay. So let us find out the coordinates of D by midpoint formula. Okay. So let D be X comma Y. So X is equal to the midpoint formula is 7 plus 1 upon 2. x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. We did it in section formula. So that is 7 plus 1 upon 2. That's 8 upon 2. That is 4. And y is equal to 8 minus 10 upon 2. That is minus 2 upon 2. That is minus 1. Therefore, d is 4 comma minus 1. Now, we have a point we have D point, so we can find out the equation of AD by two points form. So let us write down equation of AD. Here you can mention by two points form. What is that? Y minus Y1 upon Y2 minus Y1 is equal to X minus X1 upon X2 minus X1 where I can consider this as x1, y1 and this as x2, y2. Okay, just consider this mentally and put the values over there. y minus y1 is 5, y2 is uh, minus 1, minus 1 minus 5 is equal to x minus x1 is 3, x2 is 4 minus 3. Now let us calculate this, y minus 5 upon minus 6, x minus 3 upon 1. Cross multiply. I will do it here. y minus 5 is equal to minus 6 whole into x minus 3. Therefore, y minus 5 is minus 6x plus 18 or y is equal to minus 6x plus 18 plus 5. y plus 6x is equal to 18 plus 5 is 23. So, I can just write it in arranged manner. 6x plus y is equal this is the equation of the median A. Let's proceed to the next sum. 24th question. Find the equation of a line passing through the point minus 2 comma 3 and having x intercept 4 units. This is also a very important sum. It has come in 2002 board paper. So let us draw a rough diagram just to understand how it is. Minus 2 comma 3 is somewhere here, so this point, and it is having 4 units x intercept, that means this point, okay. So the line passes through this three, these two points, and we need to find out the equation of this line. So obviously this point is given to you, let it be P, which is your minus 2 comma 3, and let this be Q. Very clearly we can understand the coordinates of Q, this part is 4, because x intercept is 4, so this part is 4 and the ordinate is 0, so this is 0. So we got the two points and definitely we can find out the equation of the line by the two points form. So let P, you can consider this as x1 comma y1 which is given as minus 2, 3 and Q 
which you can consider as x2 comma y2 which is given to you as 4 comma 0. Therefore, equation of the line PQ by which form you can mention two points form. If you don't want, you don't mention it is fine. You can write down the two point form first. Y minus Y1 upon Y2 minus Y1 is equal to X minus X1 upon X2 minus X1. So Y minus Y1 is your 3. Y2 is 0 minus 3. X minus X1 is minus 2. So that will become minus minus plus 2. X2 that is 4 minus of minus 2 that is plus 2. Okay. So Y minus 3 upon minus 3 x plus 2 upon 6, this will get cancelled. So, y minus 3 is it, sorry, 2 whole into y minus 3, I am cross multiplying, 2 whole into y minus 3 is minus 6 and minus 2, this minus is here, so that will get multiplied. So, 2y minus 6 is equal to minus x minus 2, I will do it here now. So, 2y is equal to minus x minus 2 plus 6, so 2y plus x is equal to 4, or I can write it in range manner that is x plus 2y is equal to 4. So this is the equation of the line which passes through P and having x intercept as 4 units. Let's start the 25th sum now. Find the equation of the line whose x intercept is 6 and y intercept is minus 4. So x intercept and y intercept is given. That means if I draw a rough diagram, suppose x intercept is 6, that means somewhere here, 6, the point is 6, 0 because the y coordinate is 0. And the y intercept is minus 4, that means somewhere here, this point is minus 4, comma, sorry, this point is abscess as 0 now, so it will be 0, comma, minus 4. So the equation of this line you have to find out, which is passing through these two points, okay. Let us name these two points as P and Q. Again, you have two points, so you can find out the equation by two points form. So, uh, since the x-intercept is 6 units, the line passes through P, that is 6, 0, and y-intercept is minus 4 units the line passes through 0 comma minus 4 and that is we are considering as q okay therefore the equation of the line now you must have understood that we will find out by two points form okay what is it? y minus y1, y2 minus y1, x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1. Now you consider this as x1, y1, this as x2, y2 or vice versa, anything will do. So y minus y1, that's 0, y2, that is minus 4 minus y1, that's 0, x minus x1, that's 6, x2, that is 0 minus 6. So let us calculate y by minus 4 is x minus 6 upon minus 6. Minus and minus cancels. You can cancel these two. 2, 2, 2, 3. Now cross multiply. 3y is equal to 2x minus 12. So you can give the answer like this. The equation of the line is 3y is equal to 2x minus 12. So we'll start with the next sum. Question number 26. A25 B minus 1, 2 and C, 5, 8 are the vertices of a triangle ABC. Let us draw this. A, 2, 5. A is 2, comma, 5. B is minus 1, comma, 2. And C is 5, comma, 8. Are the vertices of a triangle ABC? A is a point on AB such that A is to MB is 1 is to 2. M is a point on AB. That means this is your B. AM should be somewhere here, okay, Let's, let it be uh, H comma K, they are saying AM is to MB, this is 1, 
and this is 2. M is 2, M is 1 is to 2. Find the coordinates of M. Suppose, first of all, we need to find out the values of H and K. And then the, find the equation of the line passing through the point C and M. That means we have to find out the equation of this line. Okay? So that is the question. So to find out the value of the coordinates of M, we need to use the section formula. Okay? So let us first find out the values of coordinates of M. Okay? So let M be H comma K. Okay? So H will be is equal to, we will use the section formula. What is the section formula if you remember? X is equal to M into X2 plus N into X1 divided by M plus N. Y is equal to M into Y2 plus N into Y1 divided by M plus N. Okay, this is the section formula. So let us start. H is equal to 1 into minus 1. You consider this as x2, y2 and this as x1, y1. Okay, And this is m, this is n. So m into x2. So that is 1 into minus 1 plus n into x1. n is 2. 2 into 2. 2 into 2 divided by m plus n. That's 1 plus 2. Okay. So that is minus 1 plus 4 upon 3. That's 3 upon 3, that is 1. So the value of h is 1. Similarly, k. Now for k, we are going to use this. k is equal to m into y2. So y 1 into 2. 1 into 2 plus n into y1. That is 2 into 5. 2 into 5 divided by 1 plus 2. So that gives you 2 plus 10 upon 3. 12 upon 3, that is 4. Therefore, we got m is 1 comma 4. Right? So now we got M and we got C. So we will find out the equation of CM by two points. Form. Therefore, equation of the line passing through passing through the points through the points C and M is you can mention your two points form. It's your wish you want to mention, you want to mention, otherwise it's okay. So y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1, x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1. Okay, I'll rub this part now. Uh, yeah, I'll rub this part. So we'll just write it down here. C was your 5 comma 8. And M is your 1 comma 4. Consider this as x1, y1, this as x2, y2. Okay, now just put the values over there. So it will be y minus y1 I considered as 8. y2 I considered as 4. 4 minus 8. x minus x1 is 5. x2 is 1 minus 5. So y minus 8 upon minus 4. x minus 5 upon minus 4. So from both sides you can cancel minus 4 and minus 4. So we are getting y minus 8 is equal to x minus 5 or y is equal to x minus 5 plus 8 or y is equal to x plus 3. So this is the equation of the line passing through the point C and M. Question number 27. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 1 comma 4 and intersecting the line x minus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0 on the y axis. Okay, let us draw the diagram. We will understand what is it. A line passing through 1 comma 4 means somewhere here, this is your P, 1 comma 4, and it is intersecting the y axis. It is intersecting the line on the y axis. So suppose this is the line which is your x minus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0. This is another line. And this required line is intersecting this line on the y-axis. Okay. So let this point on the y-axis be Q. And uh, the coordinate of that will be uh, abscess as 0, 0 comma B. Okay. So we need to find out the equation of PQ that we need to find out. Okay. I will just draw it a little differently so that it will be understandable for you. Uh, they are saying find the equation of the line passing through a point 1 comma 4. So I am taking it little this side so that you understand. 
this point is 1 comma 4 and this is another line the equation of whose is x minus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. Now we need to find out the equation of a line which is intersecting this given line on the y axis. Means if I draw a line like this, yes, so this is the line which is passing through 1 comma 4 and intersecting this given line on the y axis. So suppose this intersection point is Q which will be definitely uh, 0, abscissa is 0, 0 comma B. So we need to find out the equation of PQ. That's the question. So very clearly you understand that Q point lies on this. That means if I put 0 comma B in place of this, it should satisfy the equation. Okay. So first of all I will do that. Um, let the point of intersection, point of intersection, on the y axis b q which is your 0 comma b okay now we'll write now q lies on x minus 2y minus 11 equal to 0 so therefore we put in place of x we put 0 minus in place of y we will put b minus 11 equal to 0 so minus 2b is 11 or b is minus 11 by 2. That means we got this value, the coordinates of q is 0 comma minus 11 by 2. So now we have two points. So we can find out the equation of this line by two points form. Now equation of the required line, I'm just writing required line pq is you can mention here two points form. What is it? Y minus Y1 upon Y2 minus Y1 is equal to X minus X1 upon X2 minus X1. You can do the sums on your own. You can pause the video, do the sums and then check the answer with me. Y minus, I consider this as X1 Y1, this as X2 Y2. Okay, so Y minus Y1, Y1 is 4 upon y2 that is minus 11 to 11 by 2 minus 4 is equal to x minus x1 is uh, 1 divided by x2 that's 0 minus 1. So now y minus 4 upon here I am taking LCM2 minus 11 minus 8 is equal to x minus 1 upon minus 1. Let us do it here y minus 4 upon minus 19 upon 2 is equal to x minus 1 upon minus 1. Minus and minus gets cancelled. Now you can cross multiply. So it will be y minus 4 is equal to 19 upon 2 x minus 1. One more time you can multiply. 2 comes here. 2 y minus 4 is equal to 19 x minus 1. So now 2 y minus 8 19 x minus 19. So from here I get 2y is equal to 19x minus 19 plus 8. So 2y is equal to 19x minus 11. This is the equation of the required line. So today in this video we have completed till question number 27. In the last video we are going to start from question number 28 till question number 35. So the exercise will be completed from Emil Agarwal. Next video we are going to start with the next exercise. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.